With the weather like this and the boats behind me, you might think we're in Saint-Tropez, but actually we're in the Praria Marina in central Bedford. We're here because it's Boat Awareness Week and the Fire and Rescue Service are carrying out safety checks. Anthony, tell me about why you're here this afternoon. The main thing we're here is just trying to promote boat safety, getting people aware of you know, the safety on the boat, uh, from cooking, smoking and all sorts of things like that, when they have friends on the boats, just to make them generally thinking about the safety aspects. And is it something that they have to do or is it just your, your recommendations? It's our recommendations, it's just giving them ideas. So, you know, have they thought about escape routes? There's not many escape routes on the smaller boats. Obviously the larger boats have got to think about, you know, if they have children on board, if they're doing any sort of cooking, what sort of extinguishers, fire blankets, all that sort of thing. Just really getting them thinking about things. And why is the Bedford Fire Service so involved then? Well, we have different safety uh, messages we have each different month. Uh, we do like uh, road traffic collisions as well as boat re rescue this month. Um, we're mainly involved because we've got a boat in Bedford, the only one in the region with a safety boat. So uh, any sort of water rescues, uh, any promotions, we can do that with the boat. Tell me, Jan, uh, how long have you had your boat? Um, this particular boat we've had about five years, but um, we've actually been boating in Bedfordshire for ten years now. So... And why are you boating in Bedfordshire? Uh, two reasons, really. It is lovely here. You know, you could be sort of anywhere in the world. It's, the weather's fabulous. Uh, just go outside of the marina there and you could be, you know, in another country. It's fabulous. Uh, and it's about 25 minutes from where we live, so it's perfect, really. Friday night, if we fancy going out on the boat, we just come up here and... It's really easy. So where would you go then if you went out on a trip? Um, we could go up to Great Barford. I mean, it's probably 10 minutes in the car, but it would take us probably two and a half hours by boat. Um, very pretty going all through the waterways. So it's really nice day out if you went up to Barford. Uh, we do go on a couple of weeks holiday a year on it. Probably get up to the wash, out to Denver. That's quite nice. It'd probably take us about a week just ambling along to get there and then we'd spend a bit of time there and then come back again so how aware are you about the safety issues yeah i'm, I'm very aware of the safety issues because I, I i work on my boat quite a lot uh, i'm also in the um, building industry construction industry so I, i'm quite aware of uh, the need for safety with uh, fire extinguishers and certain combustible materials and stuff like that i'm, I'm, I'm quite aware of all that um, and luckily we have a diesel boat um, so obviously Diesel isn't as flammable as petrol, so the petrol boats have to be a little bit more careful. But uh, and obviously, you've got the two elements, gas and petrol, on some boats, which is obviously a, you know, quite, a, you know, could be a bit dangerous if you, if you weren't taking uh, proper precautions. So, yeah, I'm, I'm fairly aware of that. Yeah. Another one of Bedfordshire's best-known secrets: this marina and all the boat life that is carried on around here. And it's good to know that the fire service makes sure that everyone is safe when they're out on the water. This is Judy Oliver from Local News TV.